Did you know that eating these foods along with apples can cause cancer and dementia? Even when it comes to superfoods like golden apples that fight cancer, there are some foods that go well with them and some that don't at all. Even such healthy apples need to be consumed properly for the body's benefit. Consuming them with junk food can be harmful to your health. In this video, we will tell you the three foods that go worst with apples and the three foods that go best with them. This video will be extremely informative and helpful. So, if you want to become a master of your health, click like and let's get started. Recently, statistics on the causes of death from disease were announced. For men, the highest death rates were from lung cancer, liver cancer, and colorectal cancer in that order. While for women, it was lung cancer, colorectal cancer, and breast cancer. The most important point here is that for lung cancer deaths in women, as much as 90% of the cases were in non-smokers. Isn't that amazing? Even more serious is that the cause of death in women who did not smoke but still got lung cancer was secondhand smoke, air pollution, and cooking smoke. Today's hero is an amazing fruit that is best at preventing lung cancer, the apple. The quercetin and flavonoid-rich component in apples protects the lungs and has significant efficacy in preventing and suppressing bronchial cancer. Moreover, the dietary fiber-rich pectin in apples not only increases intestinal peristalsis, preventing constipation, but also reduces the residence time of carcinogens in the large intestine, making it great for preventing colorectal cancer. You've all heard the saying, one apple a day and you don't need a doctor, right? But did you know that even such healthy golden apples can be detrimental to your health if eaten with certain foods? Let's find out together the three worst combinations for preventing cancer and dementia when eaten with apples and the three best combinations. The first worst combination with apples is dairy products such as milk, yogurt, and cheese. Isn't that amazing? Many people like to eat apples with yogurt or wash them down with milk or cheese. While it's true that eating apples with dairy products can supplement the missing vitamin C in milk and provide excellent nutrition, especially as we age, when our digestive functions weaken, and if we have gastroesophageal reflux disease, we need to be extra careful. It's all about the organic acids and malic acid contained in apples, which help stomach function, stimulate metabolism, and promote recovery from fatigue, making them great ingredients. They give energy and vigor, hence the phrase, a morning apple is better than medicine. However, when the acidic components of apples meet the casein protein of milk, they form cheese-like lumps. What's more, when they meet stomach acid in our stomachs, they form even bigger lumps, making digestion more difficult. Undigested lumps can cause discomfort, chronic indigestion, and even serious diseases such as colitis and colon cancer. So instead of milk with apples, opt for skim milk or soy milk, which we talked about in a previous video about milk. Remember, gut health is an indicator of brain health. Microbes in the gut play an important role in signaling between the brain and the gut, so a healthy gut leads to better brain health. Since about 95% of serotonin, known as the happiness hormone, is produced in the gut, maintaining a healthy gut and eating right is the best choice for happiness. So, choosing foods that are well digested is the best habit for dementia prevention. The first best combination with apples is sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes, which is the best combination with apples, are rich in the amazing antioxidant beta-carotene, which is essential for cancer prevention, preventing diseases in adulthood and keeping you young. However, have you recently felt discomfort or digestive difficulties when eating sweet potatoes? This is because a compound called amylase contained in sweet potatoes can cause abnormal fermentation in the intestines, leading to abdominal bloating and diarrhea. But fear not, this is where the apple comes to the rescue. Consuming sweet potatoes with apples can eliminate these symptoms. This is due to the high content of dietary fiber, pectin, in apples. Pectin helps regulate bowel function and suppresses abnormal fermentation in the intestines, preventing gas. In addition, pectin absorbs water in the body, expands and becomes sticky, which aids in thorough digestion in the stomach and improves absorption of nutrients through the stomach and intestines. 
Thus, apples not only prevent blood sugar spikes, but also help prevent diabetes. Especially since apple peels contain the highest amount of pectin, it is important to eat the whole apple, including the peel. In addition, apples contain a significant amount of antioxidants polyphenols, which suppress free radicals, preventing the development of cancer in tumors and effectively removing carcinogens from our body. Surprisingly, the anti-cancer effects of apples are maximized when combined with beta-carotene from sweet potatoes, creating an incredible synergistic effect. So from now on, be sure to eat sweet potatoes with apples to maximize the health benefits. The second worst combination with apples is spicy food. Did you know that spiciness is not only a flavor but also pain? That's right, sweet, sour, bitter, and salty are flavors, and spiciness causes a sensation of pain on the tongue. When you eat spicy food, your mouth burns and hurts. But have you ever thought about the damage it can do to your stomach and intestines? That's why when you eat spicy food, you may experience discomfort in your stomach. Some people eat apples to take the spiciness off and freshen up their mouth. But wait, that's not a good idea. As mentioned earlier, apples are rich in acidic components such as organic acids and malic acid, which give them a tart flavor. While these substances are good for the body, they can be extremely stimulating for the stomach and intestines, which are already in pain from spicy foods. Therefore, it is not recommended to eat apples if you have an irritated stomach. Constantly eating foods that irritate the stomach can lead to pain, ulcers, and even stomach cancer. That is why there is a saying, an apple on an empty stomach is like poison. Although apples are good in the morning, they can cause stomach problems due to their acidity if eaten overnight on an empty stomach. The second best combination with apples is radishes. Radishes are extremely good for the stomach, so much so that there is an old saying, if you eat a lot of radishes, you won't have stomach problems. Recently, dishes such as cold salads or detox juices made from radishes and apples have gained immense popularity in Eastern cultures. Radishes have entered into various dishes such as moti. Radishes are incredibly rich in the enzyme amylase, which breaks down starch strengthens the stomach walls and flushes out toxins and carcinogens from the body. This helps prevent stomach pain, ulcers, and stomach cancer. When the high water content in radishes combines with the pectin in apples, which absorbs moisture and increases the viscosity of gastric juice, it not only protects the stomach, but also helps improve digestion. In addition to protecting against pain caused by spicy food, it greatly improves the digestive system. In addition, Radishes are rich in various nutrients, especially carotene, which is converted into vitamin A in the leaves and vitamin C in the peel. Apples are also rich in dietary fiber, potassium, and vitamins. Consuming radishes and apples together provides a natural, safe multivitamin with a balanced nutrient composition. Radish and apple juice drunk in the morning on an empty stomach or as a salad is not only low in calories, making it suitable for diets, but it is also the perfect combination of flavors, as the sourness of the apple does not overpower the flavor of the radish. How about trying apple and radish juice instead of food additives? The third food that should never be consumed along with apples is fried and fatty foods. Many of you may have eaten fatty foods and then reached for a refreshing apple. But why is it especially harmful to eat these two foods together? First, fried foods, such as French fries, are fried in oil to give them a crispy crust. This oil raises bad cholesterol levels, increasing the risk of cardiovascular disease and causing chronic inflammation in the body due to its high calorie content. However, especially when eating apples, it is important to consider not only the health risks associated with fried foods, but also the difference in digestion rates. Saturated fats and fatty foods take a long time to digest, while apples take a very long time to digest. When these foods are eaten together, the difference in digestion time disrupts the digestive process, which can lead to long-term digestive distress. Poorly softened food can make it difficult to move through the digestive tract and damage the gastric mucosa, causing waste products in the digestive system to harden and cause indigestion and gallstones. 
In addition, impaired digestive function slows down the flow of nutrients to the brain, resulting in decreased concentration, increased fatigue, and even cognitive decline and the onset of dementia. Therefore, it is best to avoid eating fatty foods with apples to maintain proper digestion and overall health. Finally, the third best combination with apples is oatmeal. Recently, oatmeal has gained immense popularity due to its weight loss and brain-boosting properties. But did you know that in order to take full advantage of its amazing benefits, you should eat it with apples? The richest nutrient in oatmeal is beta-glucan, which effectively reduces bad cholesterol in the blood, preventing diseases such as hyperlipidemia and atherosclerosis. In addition, about 80% of the fats in oatmeal are healthy unsaturated fatty acids, which also help lower cholesterol and cleanse the body of chronic inflammation and toxins. But here's the key point. Eating oatmeal with apples creates a miracle effect. The pectin in apples stimulates beneficial bacteria in the gut, eliminating heavy metals and carcinogens, calming inflammation in the blood vessels, and cleansing the organs. Although apples are considered a golden morning food, their acidity can be a problem for people with sensitive stomachs. However, combining oats with apples eases digestion and improves the absorption of nutrients from apples. The rich potassium content in apples and oatmeal helps flush sodium out of the body, lowering blood pressure. Therefore, it is important to include apples and oatmeal in your diet to prevent and control hypertension and cardiovascular diseases. In conclusion, the combination of apples and oatmeal is a powerful duo that not only promotes weight loss, supports brain health and improves digestion, but also helps lower cholesterol, cleanse the body and regulate blood pressure. Be sure to include this fantastic combination in your daily diet for overall health and wellness. So, we've covered the three worst and three best food combinations with apples. Let's summarize the results once again. Avoid eating apples with dairy products. Instead, combine them with yams. Also, do not combine apples with spicy foods. Instead, combine them with radishes, which protects the stomach. Remember that apples are especially beneficial in the morning on an empty stomach. Finally, don't eat apples with fatty fried foods or pancakes. Rather, enjoy them with oatmeal. What do you think about this? Do you agree with these statements? If there are any questions, ask them in the comments. More information on this topic can be found at the links in the description below this video and on our channel. Subscribe and hit the bell for all notifications. Please like and share this video with your friends. Thanks to our sponsors for their support. I eagerly await your comments and encourage you to watch these useful videos.